there. I'm Dr. Shope, the Wandering Scholar, and we're about to set off on a science enterprise expedition, an Eco Voices expedition, up into the watershed ecosystem. Why? Because we want to pose the question and discover the answers about water. Where does our water come from? So we're going to take a look at the headwaters of this watershed ecosystem right now. So here we are at the foot of the San Gabriel Mountains. This is where the San Gabriel River winds down from the headwaters way up at the top and where all of the rain that falls on the mountain drains across the land. So we started at the base of the canyon, looking up into the mountains where we are now. This part of the river is near the beginning of the river, which we call the headwaters. We can sometimes look at it as a creek, or a mountain spring, or a bend in the river. So there's lots of different words we can use to name it, to describe it, to label it. The quality of the water is a whole nother part of the adventure. I'm going to take a sample of the water so that we can see how clean and clear it is. So I brought the flask from my kit so that I can fill it up with the water from the river that's right here, from this mountain spring, so I can bring that water back into my lab to analyze. Now, I'm going to fill this up with the water from this river. So, all I'm going to do is just dip it into the water so that the flask fills. So here we are, coming down from the headwaters looking up the river where you can see some sandbars and evidence of what we call meandering. That is, the waters follow the path of least resistance and create little rivulets. So here you see an earthen dam and a chute that brings the overflow back into the river. So the idea is the dam holds this reservoir to store the water until we need it, rather than letting it wash all the way into the ocean. So it's released on a timely basis, depending on the replenishment needs from the aquifer below in the San Gabriel Basin. But you can see the river starts again, and then it flows out into another area that looks also like a bigger lake, because there's a bigger dam right there that's holding even more water. When that water is released, it goes down into the valley. So here you can see how big this dam really is. Look at all that concrete. And, and look, they're letting water out right now. You can see it coming down that chute and coming out that spout in a spray. All that water is coming back into the riverbed and flowing down into the valley. I wonder as I wander along the long road. So the water behind me, here at the Whittier Narrows, has come from the mountains where you saw the reservoirs were behind the dams, flows down through the canyon to this point. From here, the water is diverted into a channel and taken over to a spreading ground, which is a wide swath of porous soil where the water naturally soaks down into the ground and gets filtered. From there, Wells draw the water out, take it to the treatment center where it's prepared for piping right into your homes 
where when you turn on the faucet, there it is. Sometimes we want to make a comparison test. I took a sample of the river water way up in the mountains where it was clear and flowing. Here at Whittier Narrows, we want to find out what the water is like here. So I've asked my lab assistant to fill this flask with water from right here. There you go. So what she's doing is dipping the flask into the water and letting the, the, what, the water flow into it and fill itself up.